everybody, welcome to the next video. I'm heading towards Priory Park, just gone 10 to 3. I've got till 6 o'clock to get back to the car. And this pub here, uh, the market store, it's a brilliant pub. Um, apparently, you got like you go upstairs, and then they're at the back, they've got like um, a garden a area. So, head that way to the um, park. This is Rygate Priory. Which Rygate Priory is a Grade I listed building in Rygate, Surrey, England. It was founded in the first half of the 13th century as an Augustinian priory. Because it's half term, obviously it shuts when the school shuts. And like a little museum. But maybe one day I'll go back and see a museum, like see the caves on the same um, day if I could. Rygate Priory is a Grade 1 listed building set in 65 acres of open parkland with a pond, woodland and playing fields. The building is home to Rygate Priory Museum and Rygate Priory School. The museum presents exhibitions on a wide range of subjects designed to appeal to both adults and children. It has a collection of local history and domestic items as well as period costumes. These are used within creative and atmospheric settings to stage exhibitions depicting various aspects of life in the past. You've got a Bell Street car park to the left, playground, lake, picnic area to the right, museum, 85 metres, pavilion as well. And also, if you look here, up at Priory Park, Priory, the pleasure garden, the lake, the playground, prospect walk, I'll put it all in the description and comments below. That's it, Brygate Priory School. And then you've got a Priory Museum, um, it's obviously closed because the school's closed over there somewhere. Croquet lawn, arbitorium, brilliant office, sports field, Priory Lake. It's getting proper warm now. At Three o'clock, it's like 18 degrees, a little bit of a breeze. I phoned my mum up and she said, like, it's no breeze. Oh, I got a door them. Oh, I'm not fussed about going in, to be honest. Okay. There, down there, right at the other end is the um, lake. Then I'll go way around Rygate Priory in Priory Park. 13th century converted mansion Tudor times. In 1541, Henry VIII granted the former priory to William Howard, first Baron Howard of Effingham, the uncle of Catherine Howard. The old church was converted to a private residence and the majority of the rest of the buildings were demolished. The chancel at the east end of the priory church became the Howard's private chapel. In 1615, the estate was inherited by Charles Howard, first Earl of Nottingham, who had led the English fleet against the Spanish Armada. It's a bit weird though, going to school here and flipping people all walking about your bloody grounds. <laughs> Crazy as hell. Anyway, let's walk down this way and have a look. Sunken Garden. Uh, a mental with pond between 1878 and 1885. Yeah, last pond over here. With the flowers and all that. It's, it's, it's nice. I've got some more stuff they're doing over here, planting some few bits. Here, the pond. Oh, it's bleak or not. It's hot enough for shorts, but I wore these jeans. <sighs> head that way, go around that way. You should head up that way, you do all sorts, but I probably need like five hours, but I've only got two hours and a half. Playground. Half oh, decent, like playground, quite big. A lot of families and stuff. Then you got all these. Yeah, head that way around and see the big pond. It's still around 17, 18 degrees here. It's nice for kids for a whole week off and to be in nice weather, get out and do stuff from sit home and be bored. Here we are, the Priory Park, the pond, uh, the lake. The Lake Priory Park was originally a series of fish ponds serving the Augustinian Priory. Common frog, fish perel, bat, deep chips and goose, coot and a great crested gabe. Hey, ducks.
Right. Priory Park control of dogs, feeding the ducks. Oh, that's going for a toss, isn't it? That, that roll there. Do you not use bread? Lovely pond for the ducks, you can see. To my left is Priory Park, and to the right is Rygate Park. So I'm going to cut off here to the right, head to Rygate Park. Well, I didn't realise it was this hilly. I'd be like a box hill. God, oh, blimey. Head this way. 3.35, so we've got way over an hour, hour and a half. Nice way to burn a few calories off, especially that donut. <laughs> didn't realise I was getting a free donut. I said, I oh, didn't realise you get a free donut. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. <sighs> Shit. Mud. Uh, I have to just try and keep to this side. Don't get my shoes too muddy. This is going to require strength, especially with a heavy bag on my back, to get up to there. Otherwise, I'll have to walk all the way around to another path. I'll try it. Alright. Oh. I already wish, huh? I think I should have gone round, to be honest. Might have been a path round but I'm halfway up now I'll try and make rest the way up I think if I'd carried on round for another about three minutes it would have been a path all the way round but I was soon patient I went up slip hill I'm old I'm out of breath and your feet hurt ha it's going well isn't it and the sun's still beating down going to head this way now I've made it up instead of going round Oh, a lot of time I'm doing that today. I always try and bring two pairs of shoes if I'm going on a long distance, because I know one pair, they won't be enough, because they'll hurt my feet. Let's going to have a little rest here for a sec. Finally found the path, because I didn't want to walk through the brambles and that all the way through the large forestry area. So I'll head this way round, and then I can have a little rest in a minute. It's getting even warmer. That's the moon, you can't see it on here, but it's the moon up there. Half moon, already. It's just hit 19 degrees, which, with a nice breeze, it's all, all right. Without the breeze, definitely need to wear shorts. But, oh, dear me. Ah, oh, it's a bench, a couple of benches, I'll sit on one of the benches, have a bit of food and a drink and have a little rest. So head up this way, all the way down, and make a left, quite far down there, left. All the way, walk all the way down, and then it heads towards um, Rygate Football Club, and then a little bit further on, Priory Park. I think it's still Rygate, I'll just have a look it up. But it's a nice area, look at that, beautiful. If you look on a map of Rygate, Priory Park's in Rygate, but where I am, just outside Rygate, it's down there, it's called South Park. Oh, head this way. 
it's good that they've installed a lot of rest stops in between like benches and things like this and got a look so if I go that way or left you can't get down that way properly so I'm gonna try straight see what that leads me to hopefully to the a main path I'm not going down again I went up I'm not going down again this is the path I've got to go down to get to the other path on the left hand side around there somewhere so I've got to be careful not to slip or anything like that <sighs> This is the main path to one of the entrances to Priory Park because I went all the way down to the pond and round. All it does, like you go from Priory Park, ground level, up, up, up and round and then down, down, down again and you come down this way. I made it back to Priory Park, twin means past four and head to past the car park and then head back to where I parked the car. Rygate and Bansted Crest. Come out of the car park from Priory Park and head this way just to the left, up past the chariot shops on the right, head up towards near where the castle ruins are. And Head slowly to the car park and then head home. Back at these steps once again. Oh, flipping hell. <laughs> I'm now right by the car park and gonna go to the car in a sec because it's five to five and head home. I really enjoyed my day in Rygate. Thanks everyone for watching this third vlog as well from Rygate Priory and Rygate Park. Let me know in the comments what you liked about it and like this video, share it with your friends, family and subscribe as well. Take care, see ya.